So I got this little 2001 Honda Civic that I'm fixing up to sell. Did a bunch of work to it already, like the timing belt, water pump, replaced all the oil seals, all new fluids, just everything to make it a mechanically solid car. The last thing I'm going to do is cut the rotors or resurface them. The brake pads are still pretty fresh, but this car sat around for a while, so the rotors are all rusted. Now the minimum machine thickness specification is 0.750 or 750 thousandths of an inch. And if we measure this rotor right now, it comes out to 0.780, right, or 780 thousandths of an inch. So we could take 30 thousandths of an inch off of this rotor. We don't want to take off too much, so I'm going to start with about 7 thousandths of an inch on either side. Seems like there's some thickness variation. Still got some rust on there, so we'll measure it again and see what we can work with. So 0.765. So we have about 15 thousandths of an inch left to go before we've gone too far. So we'll take a little bit more off. I forgot to get a shot of the measurement, but there's still some imperfection and there's still some material to work with. So we're gonna do one final shallow pass. So now it's all clean, a nice flat friction surface. We have 753 thousandths of an inch thick I think the minimum machine tooth thickness was actually 748 thousandths. So we're about 5 thou over according to that measuring tool. This one's going to say 756 thousandths. So we are within specifications. We're going to put the brakes all back together and send this one on down the road. And that's how you cut rotors with an on-car brake lathe.